So I got some new art stuff. This is from yesterday. This is a book. But this. I bought today. So what we have here is some pipettes for, with, for to use my ink in this uh, smaller uh, container here, in these boxes or what else they seem. Something to have a travel set of watercolor. Maybe I use this. Some super flexible, how it's called, hoch elastisch, muy flexible. High elastic um, tip pens and with some uh, nip holder. I like the straight one, not this other one. This is in pyramid. I like this form. And here to, to attach the water to the board and a Skoda fine brush, maybe for the shadows under the roofs. Another one, yeah, and the basic colors of Daniel Smith. And the main thing, this watercolor book, well, uh, watercolor, but this sketchbook from Hanemühl, because when I bought yesterday, maybe you can remember from my yesterday video, I bought this. This, I think, is more on the watercolor side. Yes, you see, this is very... It doesn't wobble. It's quite good for, for wet techniques. But then the line... Of, um, it's, 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 it's another feeling. It's a special feeling to draw with ink and, uh, and these very sharp pens on this uh, paper. So I want to test out this series. This is Nostalgic series. I bought two sizes. And here we have a very smooth paper. A little bit thicker. This is 190 grams. And this is 140 grams. We will do a ink drawing here and we also test it with watercolor or wash it with uh, with ink and water, okay? And all this other stuff, I will show you how I use it. So for this video, we will prepare all these materials. This is the nip from uh, yesterday. Always overnight remove uh, the nip from the nip holder because it will dry, the ink will dry, and then you will never can uh, remove it and so you destroy many, I uh, destroyed many of my older holders and nips because it was so dry that you no chance to remove it. So this is the harder nip, the not so elastic one. And this is the very elastic one, flexible one. This is very important for these thinner and thicker strokes. It's a very cheap one. Ah, both sided. Oh, that's quite nice. So I can do a harder here, a smoother there, a smoother nip. Yeah, fits in quite good. Okay. So <clears throat> another important thing is when you use this and you tip in, uh, then you don't know how deep uh, you have to go. So I bought this little um marks and so then we don't make a mess let's take this pipette works fine and let's fill it here this is a waterproof ink this is not for fountain pens only for dip pens. In fountain pens it will uh, dry and clunk and destroy. So 
Let's remove the rest. Okay. Always close your ink bottles immediately because, yeah, you know what happens. When you want to use uh, fountain pens, uh, always only use ink. This is special made, it's waterproof ink, but special made for fountain pens. This is a, a sketch ink from Rohr and Klingner. There are also other brands as well. That's good. But today we will use these two tip pens. As I said before, this is from yesterday with a more rougher paper. And here we have this smoother paper. We'll see. Okay, let's start here. This is when you have a drawing board and you can attach this to your drawing board. I can also use it. I always use another uh, mug or uh, something like this that I don't uh, push uh, it and falls down or something like this. So, okay. By the way, these are my actual drawings. Always ink and watercolor. The topics are my cityscapes. The actual cityscape, a large format I'm working on is this one. Okay, so let's start with this new flexible one. I try to make an horizont frontal line. Okay, not so horizontal. And then let's do here. Okay. So, one way you start with a tree. Yeah, perfect fine line. I'll show it here. Here we start with the tree. Very fine lines are possible with this nib. Great and with this paper. I think this tree everybody can draw. It's very easy. Think about the shadows underneath the tree and here this trunk. And let's do another one here. Very loose. This is not so flexible like this one, I think. Yesterday when I did the splatters, yeah, it's a little bit, you can see, more. Okay. But anyway, let's move on with this one. Let's do a house here, a building. Perfect, really a perfect paper for this ink drawing. The ink is deep black. And you see this fine line works really great. And also because it's a flexible pen, uh, nib, then you can do such thick strokes. So here for the shadows. And when I turn it upside down, let's see. Yeah, looks quite nice. And some fence here. A little shadow and the wire. But do you know what? I think I like this one more. It's Uh, let's draw the roof now. Yeah, it's a, it's another it's it's so you have to try many different types of nibs. They are so different, and I think this one is for this paper the better choice. Let's do the shadow here. 
it's very windy outside so this is why the you hear this background noise antennas maybe you know them from my other drawings as well okay I will now speed it up and that I can finish the drawing and then we are back to uh, color it with uh, watercolor okay no idea why I started on the left side I always ever ever start on the on the left side not on the right side because of course I'm uh, right-handed and so I would smudge this when it's not dry so we so this was not a good idea um, anyway we now go back here with some street lamp and I hope this will dry soon uh, let's do a street lamp here. And there's a and there's a third option. We have this medium soft nips. I will also try that one in this drawing. Uh huh. Come on, here we go. Okay. Let's see if it. Ah, you see, this is very. This is a nip with very, very fine lines are possible here. Nip number 511 from browser. I think as well as six lines yeah look at this oh uh, this combination this um, nip with this paper great I think I love it the most and also to make this okay it works yeah fine that's the way I want to use it This is really an extra fine nip. So I can do some big radio tower here as well. Okay, well, I like this one, the medium soft works the best for me today. Tomorrow is another day, so we'll see. Okay, now we let this, this try, really, really try so that we can um, color it with uh, watercolor and I'm really I'm really excited if this works well or not. It's the first time, the first drawing in this sketchbook. Well, maybe I should read if it's made for watercolor. Uh, here they say suitable for use with all dry painting techniques in addition to wet colors. Haha, <laughs> well. Let's see what this means for this case. Okay, we need some water. We need colors, of course. 
Let's do so that you can see what I use. Let's do it this way. And my loft, so loft pencils, uh, brushes, sorry. Uh, take the middle one. So, no idea how this paper will react. With new paper, this is always so, so exciting how it will work. More water, less water. Okay. Okay, let's start. Ah, okay. So may you are thinking do I like it or not? Hmm not that bad for this smooth surface. But of course it's not the usual watercolor. The rough surface. I try to lift the color up. Okay, this that's that is working as well. Okay, so let's let's go on here. Yeah, this it's very nice. This this surface, this paper, very equal parts because there is no rough. It's not a rough paper. So. Ah, <laughs> here we have the roof of the other building. It's okay, nothing happened. Okay, let's go on with this tall towers in the background. So I make them, I draw them, I paint them with more on the blue bluish side it's a very unique way this paper reacts with the water and you can remove the color as well that's fine So, and to finish this now, let's do some the orange ground here. Uh, add some colors. If I should lift it up, so the color don't run back, always in one direction. Let's see. Oh, that's great. Yes, I think this is uh, usable for wet color ink. 
we'll see what it brings on the next pages of this sketchbook. Oh, I forgot the tree here. And here we have the result, a very fast sketch. So, hope to see you next time. Bye.